working on the multiplying integers lesson. Uh, and so we have some instructions here at the top that tell us how to multiply integers. But the gist of that is if they have different signs, then your answer is going to be negative. And if they have the same sign, then your answer is going to be positive. Okay. Uh, and notice that these are showing multiplication. So that parentheses is representing multiplication. Okay. And let's scooch on down to example three because when we are, oops, too far. When we are talking about uh, multiplying more than two integers at the same time, like you have right here, then we have to do a little bit of extra work. Okay. So for example, actually we don't need that part. Uh, First, you're going to do the 6 times negative 3. Since they have different signs, the answer would be negative. So that's where this negative 18 comes from. And then they're bringing down the negative 2. Now we're doing negative 18 times negative 2. They have the same sign, so their answer would be positive. So the final answer was positive 36. All right, now we're ready to go down to the exercises. So let's look at number 1. So that says negative 5 times 7. So we do 5 times 7, which is 35. Since they have different signs, we're going to have a negative 35 as our answer there. We're going to highlight that. Let's go to number 2. 6 times negative 9. Well, 6 times 9 is 54. Since their signs are different, that's going to be negative 54. Number 3, we have negative 10 times 4. 10 times 4 is 40. They have different signs, so that's going to be a negative 40. All right, and let's try number 4. We have negative 12 times negative 2. Well, 12 times 2 is 24. This time their signs are the same, so it's going to be positive 24. Okay, let's try an example where we're doing more than one, we're multiplying one, more than one number together. So let's skip to number 15. So for number 15, I'm going to zoom in on that. I have negative 10 times negative 4 times negative 6. So take them two at a time, right? So negative 10 times negative 4 would be positive because they have the same sign. So positive 40. So if I do 40 times negative 6. Well, 40 times 6 is going to be 240, but they have different signs, so this is going to be negative 240. Okay, let's try... No, nope, I think we're going to leave it like that. All right, so now what I want you to do is you need to complete problems 5 through 24, except for 15 because we've already done that together. But take a minute... Uh, or a couple of minutes, and complete problems 5 through 24 independently, then come back to this video to check your solutions. Good luck! You have had an opportunity to try some problems on your own. Go through these problems and check your solutions. Hopefully you understood what to do. If you didn't, then step one would be to go back to the top section here and reread those notes. Uh, and then if you're still having trouble understanding how I got these answers, then you are welcome to contact me or your teacher and get some assistance there. Uh, once you have finished correcting your problems, if you missed any, make sure you correct them. Once you finish correcting them, then go through and, or turn this assignment in, then go through and work on your independent practice. And then after you've completed and turned that in, you can complete your mastery check. And I'll see you in the next lesson.